Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just got note from Kim Jong Un with shocking admission: the world will never be the same. What a difference a difference a presidential administration can make. Only two short years ago, we were on the brink of war with North Korea. Their leaders refused to sit down and talk to our leaders, and vice versa. But today, amazing things are happening in that region. From North Korea cutting their nuclear capabilities to the Korean War finally being over after over a half decade. Earlier this week, the North Korean dictator Kim Jong Un broke his silence for the first since his historic Singapore summit with President Trump last month, where he hailed his new relationship with the United States and even went as far as to say that he has the utmost confidence the two nations can work together. President Trump posted Kim Jong Un's letter on Twitter last, confirming he had received a very nice note from Chairman Kim of North Korea. Great progress being made. Below is the text of the entire note. Your Excellency, Mr. President, the significant first meeting with Your Excellency and the joint statement that we signed together in Singapore 24 days ago was indeed the start of a meaningful journey. I deeply appreciate the energetic and extraordinary efforts made by Your Excellency, Mr. President, for the improvement of relations between the two countries and the faithful implementation of the joint statement. I firmly believe that the strong will. Sincere efforts and unique approach of myself and Your Excellency, Mr. President, aimed at opening up a future between the DPRK and the U.S. will surely come to fruition. Wishing that the invariable trust and confidence in Your Excellency, Mr. President, will be further strengthened in the future process of taking practical actions, I extend my conviction that the epochal progress in promoting the DPRK-U.S. relations will bring our next meeting forward. Kim Jong Un, Chairman of the State of Affairs Commission. Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Wow, incredible! Considering this, the fact that this dictator wouldn't even talk to Barack Hussein Obama, even though Obama had a soft spot for brutal dictators such as the Castro brothers over in Cuba. And the best part is, all this is coming when we have a president the liberal left was telling us would, for all intent and purpose, be starting World War III and life as we all know it would end. Here is more via Sean Hannity. North Korean leader Kim Jong Un broke his silence this week for the first since his historic Singapore summit with President Trump last month, hailing his new relationship with the United States and saying he has the utmost confidence the two nations can work together. President Trump posted Kim's personal letter on social media Thursday, saying he just received a very nice note from Chairman Kim of North Korea. Great progress being made. Wishing that the invariable trust and confidence in Your Excellency, Mr. President, will be further strengthened in the future process of taking practical actions, wrote Kim. I deeply appreciate the energetic and extraordinary efforts made by Your Excellency, Mr. President, for the improvement of relations between the two countries. Kim's note comes just days after Secretary of State Mike Pompeo traveled to Pyongyang to meet with North Korean leaders, holding high-stakes negotiations to advance both nations' pledge to completely denuclearize the Korean Peninsula. MSN reports, Kim's letter also predates a planned meeting over the return of U.S. remains Thursday on the North Korean-South Korean border, where American military officials were stood up by their North Korean counterparts. The meeting was later rescheduled for July 15th, according to South Korean officials. Also on Thursday, U.S. officials presented the United Nations with data that North Korea has breached its annual cap for imports of refined petroleum products. The information. Presented in a report seen by Bloomberg News, came with a U.S. call to other countries to halt all transfers of refined petroleum products to North Korea and to be more vigilant in preventing unauthorized ship-to-ship -ship transfers. Despite the recent setbacks, great progress being made, Trump tweeted on Thursday along with images of the letter in English and Korean, calling it a very nice note from Chairman Kim. Kim's missive also hinted at the possibility of another summit. Saying that the epochal progress in promoting the DPRK-U.S. relations will bring our next meeting forward. At the conclusion of the Singapore summit last month, Trump suggested he may invite Kim to the White House or his retreat at Mar-a-Lago in Florida. This letter proves beyond any shadow of a doubt that President Trump is what we all suspected him to be—an awesome negotiator who gets things done. The left and the establishment don't like this because it demonstrates to all the world how previous presidential administrations have been inept and have spent more time working against Americans than for Americans who are the real people who pay their salaries and who elect them into office, foolishly believing that they are there to represent them. Until President Trump came in and changed everything, America first. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.